They have some of the biggest barriers in life, including being formerly incarcerated. Now these women are celebrating, reaching their dreams, and getting their degrees, graduating with honors. How does it feel? How does it feel, Hope? It feels awesome. <laughs> it feels surreal, honestly. Putting on her cap and gown for the first time, Hope Sanders says it feels like a dream. That's because it is a dream come true. More than 30 years ago, Sanders' life was completely different. She was a 16-year-old in prison. From 16 to being in jail to now the woman that you are today, how did you do this? It took time. It took a lot of time. It took a lot of pain. I always felt like I wasn't smart enough. Now Sanders is preparing to walk across the stage and accept her bachelor's degree diploma with honors in social work and is on her way to Columbia University to pursue her master's also in social work. I prayed that um, I would be able to, to reintegrate into society and I would be looked at as a peer and more so to be placed in a position where I could change minds. Sanders credits a nonprofit called College and Community Fellowship for helping her and hundreds like her overcome barriers that come with being formally incarcerated, earn college degrees, and turn their lives around. Hope is the epitome of success. Letitia Boyd is the director of training and special projects for the program. Our program is sort of unique. We don't just focus on individual change. We focus on systemic change. We focus on leadership development. We focus on institutional change. For more than 20 years, the program has focused on job placement, internships, and has even started a new push to get people to vote for policy changes that affect their communities. Some of these things, you just have to take a leap of faith because there are good people out here. Oh, Go here. Thank you. Sanders hopes to pay it forward, fighting for women just like her for access to higher education. I know that I have a voice, and I know that I didn't want to be quiet. And if you'd like more information about any of these programs or supporting this organization, just go to my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Monica Morales TV. In Morningside Heights, Monica Morales, Pix 11 News.